Guys, how about a married couple uh, having sex with a miniature stallion? A miniature stallion. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, the first night that he came to, came up to visit me, um, I took him down to the barn to introduce him to some of my horses and some of the other horses that I enjoyed at the barn. And I took him in and introduced him to my miniature stallion. And kind of, I don't know if it was subconscious, kind of, I was very nervous and kind of wanted to do the uh, uh, shock factor, as it were. Um, my miniature stallion was dropped and, ma and masturbating. Uh, when his penis is dropped and he slaps it on his belly, they call that masturbation for stallions. And so I just, I, one thing led to another and I couldn't resist, so I bent down and started sucking on him. And then he tried climbing on top of me, so the next thing I know, my pants are down, and I'm bending over for him, and I'm like, excuse me, I can't resist. Wait, next thing you know? <laughs> That's the next thing you know? First of all, I'm, I'm guessing this isn't from, like, hang the 6 o'clock news. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had no idea where this clip was from. Yeah, Bob's oh, got to adjust geez. himself. He's getting a hard on. What, all right, Bob, uh, what do you find hot about that story? The horse slapping its dick against its belly? <laughs> 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 Man, she couldn't resist, so she had to start going down on the horse. But where, where the fuck did let me this tell come you from? Wow. If, all right, I'm okay. I meet this chick. Mm -hmm. uh, we go on a little date. Hey, I live on a farm. Okay, cool. After the date, we had a little blah, blah, blah. Oh, come see my horses. We go and we see the horses. All of a sudden, the little miniature horse, little cute horse. Wow, that's cool. And all of a sudden, the, 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 the horse just... His dick just comes out and starts flapping it off his belly. Flap, uh -huh. flap, flap. And she just goes, you know what? I'm sorry. And gets down and starts going. Rah, rah. I'm sorry. I mean, that's going to fucking. You're finding that like real hot. I'm not going to be looking at the horse's face. But I, I mean, I've been looking at her just, you dirty animal. The fact that she's such a pig and she can't resist cock that much. Even if, that, it's, even a if horse's, it's a horse's cock. Just this, and she just gets down on her knees and hay and shit. <laughs> 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 smells like ammonia and she's just sucking she just the cock. She needed it, yeah. That that's I think that's what turns pretty, me on. Not the fact disgusting. I don't like a horse cock, but the fact that she's just a dirty she pig. She just needed it that bad. Yeah, I am gonna fucking kneel day down in horse shit and hay and suck a cock right in a barn. Because I'm that horned up. I'm fucking. Uh, and then I'm gonna whip my skirt up and stick a mule. And then I'm gonna look at you and go, I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go, oh, you fucking dirty molested pig. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna go anus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see where this goes. Yeah, I, I bet I know where. Coast. All right. And I guess part part of me said, okay, either he's for real and he won't mind this, or he's not for real and he's going to be totally freaked out. By the way, this is their first meeting. This uh, this her and the horse? The, no, no. Oh. She obviously was into the horse <laughs> and decided she uh, needed somebody to talk to, so she decided she was going to get a husband. And this is the first meeting between her and the guy that would become her husband. Took her over to the barn. The beyond, beyond. <laughs> so, so, so now the 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 guy is meeting her for the first time, and, right. and he's seen all this shit go on. Right. That's a hell of a right. first date. Oh, that's better than ice cream after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And I guess part part of me said, okay, either he's for real and he won't mind this, or he's not for real and he's going to be totally freaked out by it and, and run. Um, obviously, he didn't run. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I was very tempted at the point to uh, have sloppy seconds. It, it, it turned me on. It, Wait, it was it was so. Oh my God! Well, sloppy seconds on the horse or no? Her? I would guess on the horse. I'm gonna throw up. That would be like ult ultra sloppy seconds. So he's gonna stick. How do you follow a horse too? Uh, Jesus me... Christ! That's a confident guy. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking the horse is the horse is Led Zeppelin. You know? Yeah, you guys, Zeppelin just played. You're up. <laughs> you start with. Hey, yeah. I'm Bob Kelly. I'm going to do improv for all thirty thousand of you. Yeah, <laughs> give me something you hate. <laughs> that's like I, I think she's probably a little. Uh, that's like starting with Zeppelin out. and and then ending up with uh, Foghat on stage <laughs> to wow. close the show. Yeah, what the oh. fuck would that be about? But there's a minute. Point to uh, have sloppy seconds. It, it, it turned me on. It, it was it was so erotic to, to watch this. And just the, the whole thing, and uh, it didn't shock me at all. In fact, I was like, "This is pretty cool." <laughs> I think I found somebody here that, that might be on on my plane here, oh, fuck. and it went from there. Is that Bob Saget? Here we are, married. <laughs> yeah.
married. Like, don't get me wrong. It would probably turn me on for the second that she did it. And then, but as soon as I was done, I would, you know, I'll call you tomorrow. Yeah, take it easy. And I'd go tell everybody what a horse fucking horse she was. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to, you know, say, wow, you won't believe what the fuck I saw. Yeah, I'd do it for the story. Let's I put it saw a girl this, uh, this blowing and fucking a horse. But this guy decided a wedding ring was uh, in the future. Yeah, he said, he said plane, same plane. You mean ship? <laughs> yeah. This video's on YouTube? You can see it? No. Can't be. Sure it's not Tracy we Morgan. Have a lousy the Maybe the video of her talking about it, but not the we video We have a lousy video act. of a girl that might show a boob or two, and then our, all our accounts not get suspended. Act. We lose hundreds of videos, but they have this on YouTube that you could... Uh, well, not anymore after we just... Well, you're not that. watching the actual sex act, act, but them yeah. talking about it. Oh, forget it, that. That seems see a little she, crazier uh, than seeing she a looks like. video clip of a girl's boobs. She hot? She can't be. I bet she has brown hair. It's curly. She's ugly. And she's fat. I bet you. Yeah. Did you really have to ask that question? Well, I just wanted to describe. Yeah, right. This is the right. hottest chick ever blowing how, a horse. How, big, how great would that <laughs> be? Doesn't uh, if a hot chick just started sucking it, and she goes, "I can't help it." I just love seeing the big cock. Hey, get that. Isolate that. What? I really fucked up there, didn't I? What did you just say? <laughs> I was imitating what? No, no, no. I sh- I, no, no, no. I'm no, not no. going to say it again. Answer the question. Why, so they could have two great takes of it? <laughs> they got one. It's perfect. You love seeing the... What? The... The big, uh, yeah. The big cock. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, that froze my brain for a second. We missed yeah. the obvious. Perry from Boston. From Led Zeppelin to the emo stylings of Nigel. Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's another Rockin clip. with Nigel. Married couple has sex with miniature stallion. What, do you want to hear what she uh, does with the stallion? Yes. Why not? And of then course. do you want to hear what the husband also does with he, the stallion? Oh, I hope no. it's not a hand job. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, the horse is giving him one. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Hooves aren't really fashioned for a handy. <laughs> well, I have... Vaginal sex with my miniature stallion. Uh, All right, look how ugly this broad is. All right, let me see. The, the hunchback is her? I don't know. No, that's got to be... What the fuck is that? Oh, that's the dude. Is that uh, the husband? Oh, my God, look at that. And that's the little stallion, little, okay? Little. Oh, it looks like a little Shetland pony. <laughs> little cutie. Isn't he adorable? Oh, and they're cat. feeding him. Feeding him a carrot. That's yeah, but you see how he's... That's a suck in my gog. Yeah. You see how reserved the stallion is? He doesn't want to get too close to the guy. Probably, <laughs> every time he gets too close, he's, he's just like... Oh. Is that against the law to fuck your horse? Yeah. I hope he mistakes a, his, his cock for a fucking carrot. <laughs> <laughs> he's making little... Where's the, where's the chick? I know, it stopped I this know. bit, but the chick was there and she was beyond ugly. They live in some kind of hovel. Well, what do you that's think? That's nice. We have time to where actually have Where the kitchen window is right outside the <laughs> fucking horse pen. Oh, there he is. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, she, she fucks horses. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's wow. get back to the clip. I was hoping you would uh, get the uh, That's inside. all right. Just leave it like pause it when playing you see her. And, all right. Yeah, yeah, when you see her, pause it. You'll know when. Uh, yeah, just show the guys because then you'll know out there in Radio Land when uh, the ugly broad makes her next appearance on the on the clip. All right, here we go. Well, I have vaginal sex with my miniature stallion. Uh, he's not a whole lot larger than most humans. Um, yeah, he is right. a bit bigger, but not uncomfortably so. Um, I, li- I like to, to suck on him orally, uh, and he exp- especially enjoys that. I have anal sex with, with, the, with the miniature stallion. He penetrates me, and it's... Ah, oh, okay. I thought what? I thought he was talking about yes. like he fucks the miniature stallion up the ass, but no. Apparently, <laughs> he penetrates him. Holy, Holy shit. shit! This fucking show. Dude, why did you only give us like four minutes? This is I'm not. I'm looking right. at a ten minute version where they uh, version of the clip where they talk to a sexologist and all. That ain't her, right? I it's not see, her. I didn't see the clip that is you that guys her? have up there. Sex I didn't see. Therapist, no. That ain't horse fucker. That's her. That's sex no. therapist. I want more. There's a ten minute clip. I will talk to a sexologist who tries to explain why people do this uh, type of thing. Oh, I'll They're fucked up in the head. How do you let a horse fuck you in the ass like this? Jesus. Wait. You like this? <laughs> I don't know, Mr. Big Cock Lover. Outside. 
Shouldn't you have said, how do you let anyone fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, well, he's slipping I, up today. I, the second one, I, horse. Just wanna, I just want to make the observation. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. made sure he said horse. Yeah, oh, autobiography. Horse I'll take over yeah. this. Well, I have to. Jesus. Get, I'm fighting out of my autobiography. Uh, uh, snafu. I'd take your snafu over his fucking <laughs> snafus. Go, I'll go through 20 animals before I get to a horse. Stop it. <laughs> Horses aren't even that cute. Uh, here we go. So, just, uh, he penetrates me, and it's... It's pleasurable, but it's not real intense. It's like I said, the, the, the and pleasure that I get from it is more from knowing how much he enjoys having sex with me. He, he tends to tell me about it. He talks a lot. He grunts and, and wickers and, and blows in my ear, etc. And that is very erotic to me, more so than the physical sex. When he's courting me, as it were, trying to entice me to, uh, to bend down or kneel down, um, he he does a lot of uh, um, I call it a hubba hubba. <laughs> he just kind of goes and makes this little hubba hubba noise to me. Um, and then and then once he's in, I mean for for every stirrup that he does, he makes this big grunt, grunting noise. And then when he orgasms, he makes an even bigger grunting noise. <laughs> so the horse comes in her and in him. I guess. What happens when horse cum <laughs> hits your fucking eggs? I don't know. What happens? It's an egg. Zombie. Nothing. It's a sperm Zombie and it people. swims. Don't you know about chromosomes? Know. What? Talk to me. Tell me. See, the uh, humans have a 23 in okay. the reproduction. Your cells have uh, 46. Reproductive cells have right. 23. You put 23 and 23, what does it make? 46. 46. Yeah. That's how they know that it's it's human. Right. Like that. What about humansies? You can't... Yeah. Like wacky yeah. numbers. What about a humanzy? Yeah, together. what about a humanzy? They don't yeah. they don't work. It hey, doesn't work. They have humans. They know the egg knows hey, the egg cell existing. knows it's not a human sperm and won't it won't fertilize it. Yeah. It can't it can't like interlock and fucking work. So you don't you, try. So it. I can I can let a you know, horse can fuck a chick, blow nut all inside her kidneys. She'll never have a horse person. Don't you think there'll be horse babies roaming around? I, you ever see a couple fucking people walking around New York City? Yeah, you wonder what's in there. Yeah, a horse baby, a humanzy. Who who who? My my chick. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh, Robin. Jesus. <laughs> so all right, so he can just dump his load and nothing happens. Yeah, you just, just seeps out for a half hour. I think they got to be on the pill. Ugh. Uh, here, we're gonna get more for tomorrow because we only we're only touching oh, yeah. the surface on this one today. Gotta hear this. So he I wickers. What is wicker? I don't. What is know. a wicker? I don't know. They I don't know if I wicker. Nuance of what horses sounds. And why does this guy have one I mean, leg? Because he got it fucked oh, off. Jesus. What the fuck, I, Danny? Sometimes we got a clip stump here. fucker. He uses that to fuck his friend in the ass. We and then there's taxidermy stuff over the, their that, heads. Those are all like, the animals they fuck to death. <laughs> and they want to make sure they're not going to talk. <laughs> the, the exes. <laughs> that's, that's when Opie and Bob come over and take care of business. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is just uh, ridiculous. Fucking weirdos, man. Joe in Vegas, what's up? I, I'm waking up. What the fuck is going on? Well. Holy shit. Well, hey, we, Bobby. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Oh. Dude, he's How about an upgrade in tickets, guys? I got triple A seats. I got two, and uh, I just need one now. Oh, oh really? For what? Fucking For the travel. Oh. Ah. The only thing that would make me happy if he accidentally shit on his cell phone. I got one last <laughs> clip for today. Here it is. <laughs> Husband has scars on his back from when the stallion bites his back. Oh, Jesus. man. <laughs> Jody, we're talking about uh, getting fucked by a horse. That's great. I love it. All right, cool. <laughs> and he tends to like to hold on with his teeth, and I actually have some scars on my back from where he's bitten onto me, just hanging on. Uh, they do the same thing with mares when they have sex, and only his mares have fur to hang on to, he tends to get a big chunk of skin with me. Yes! And that can be quite painful. Yes! Usually I don't even... <laughs> really? The Marv Albert horse. So the, the horse cock in your ass is okay, but him biting you can be quite painful? <laughs> that could hurt. Yeah, fucking... yeah, a horse dicks in your ass. Well, yeah, you ever Jesus get pinched? Christ. Oh, Pinch that'll hurt, hurt man. He's a that'll super hurt. nova homo. <laughs> I, I swear to you, I can't fucking take a goddamn prostate exam. Where 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 the doctor's got to fucking 
take his finger for a second. That's because he didn't lube up. And meanwhile, <laughs> with the doctor? Yeah. He, he lubed up. <laughs> you believe me. That's because you, you're, you're, you're at the dentist. I was... <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I watched him. He lubed up. He's got the big tube there. Once a year when you go for your uh, no, he, physical. My dog had a big vat of Vaseline. He just went. No, this is like a Vaseline. Mine used KY. Like, uh, listen to me. You don't use Vaseline. He's not waterproof in your asshole. Yeah. Well, that's I, not water that's soluble. Was. You're walking around with squeaky ass the whole day. <laughs> the water just beads off your asshole for oh. a month. <laughs> like a duck's fire. <laughs> the, the worst part of, of that fucking uh, a, a yearly physical yeah. is uh, looking at his sheet on, on the uh, table that has everything that he's got to do oh. so it says like blood work this that you know check th this and and ears throat so he's looking at it and you look at the prostate thing and he's checking each thing off until you get to that and he saves that one for last so you just look and, and go oh my god it's coming up we're we're like three things away yeah, I, from that i haven't got and one. it's do just I... so nerve-wracking they ought to fucking do it first and get it over with because all you're thinking about is how how awful this is. Did you give him flowers when you were there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going out. We're I haven't got steady. one. I, I've told a story. Uh, older doctor. i got to change doctors because, like, the last two <laughs> times... Fingers are, are too fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> looking big, for fatter fingers. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jake <laughs> LaMotta <laughs> hands. Big ham hey, hands. Uh, here's the last clip for today. And he tends to like to hold on with his teeth, and I actually have some scars on my back from where he's bitten onto me, just hanging on. Uh, they do the same thing with mares when they have sex. And only his mares have fur to hang on to. He tends to get a big chunk of skin with me. And that can be quite painful, but usually I don't even notice until after the fact because I'm so caught up in the moment. And then I get up to the house, and Ellie says, oh, I see you've been down fooling around. You've got a big bite mark on your back again. <laughs> How do you look... Oh, how do you look your, like, digging a partner in the eye after that? I don't know. you got to wait till she's done sucking the horse's cock. And then... <laughs> it's not like she's not sucking it, too. It's you both in a barn. Oh, God. Oh, oh motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, what a size yeah. four. Earn that eight this is, uh, ibble -dabble this is a got. documentary, uh... About people that like uh, like their sex with animals, oh, Patrice. Delicious. They like their sex with animals, and uh, this particular group, they live like in a trailer in Missouri somewhere. White, I hope. Oh, see? Thanks. See, we end the show making Whitey look dumb. Thank you. You sleep with animals at least. Thanks. In a trailer home in the backwoods of Missouri live four zoophiles. They are united by their love of animals. A love which is both emotional and physical. Zophilia is love of animals. I love my animal dearly. Um, sex is an option. Um, you know, I don't have to have it all the time. It's something I enjoy very much. It's something I would miss if it were gone. But it's it's not it's not a necessity. It's not just about sex. Yeah. It's not just about sex. That's crazier than the people that just have sex with animals. Why don't y'all play the white people music today? <laughs> oh, you know something, Patrice, you got you got a great point. He had a he, he's talking about how he, how he pops his dog, <laughs> and you should have had it. Should have been a dun 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 dun. What is? I want to hear white people music for for the yeah. next. Yeah, talking about yes. four zoo files. Uh, oh, well, this one dude, uh, he says he's just as close with the animals as he is with his girlfriend. Cue the white people music. That's got to make his girlfriend feel very, very special. I'm sure. I've got a male and female dog, and I've got my female donkey. And with my dogs, um, I'm as close with my, with my two dogs as I am with my girlfriend. Uh, I wouldn't, I, I'd be just as... Uh, upset to lose either of those as I, w as I would be to lose my girlfriend. Mark, who owns the trailer, lives with Pixel. He is partially blind. Pixel, look here. Yeah. The two got married in an unofficial ceremony five years ago. 
married. I love Pixel. She's gorgeous. My God, that is a beautiful little pony. She's sweet. She's loving. I'm very proud of her. And I like to be able to tell people how wonderful she is. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know... Black wins today, Patrice. I we we did you a favor today. All we, of a sudden, congratulations, I, black, honestly, black I, beats I, I, white that, today. That makes me feel a little ashamed of white people on the whole. Like you're saying that white people could do things, and then you don't have to feel like like it's indicative of all of us. I'm kind of feeling creepy about being a white guy. Yeah. Uh, because of that guy. I the, hope so. The black man's not doing. Black this. man ain't never he ain't doing, doing any of this and crap. He, and he He's not marrying a pony. He wouldn't be philosophical about it. Yeah. Uh, you know, my pit bull sometimes after uh, <laughs> yeah. I feed it hot sauce and raw eggs and he fights. Um, he needs to wind down, too. What would you do if you had a fight illegally in a basement on a Friday night? You lift that tail up and, and you do more than pet him. By the way, anyone else notice that he he goes uh, he goes gee with a dog? Yeah. He has yeah. a female and male dog and a female pony that he married in some special ceremony. What a creep. Why isn't that? Like, this is what? We're going to learn right now. Hold on, because we're running Come out of on, show. Man. Here's the price you pay for the lifestyle right here in this clip. I've paid a price for this lifestyle. I've had to face up to some friends who just couldn't handle it and say, okay, well, you know, I hate to lose you as a friend, but I understand. I'm sure that... Uh, I see my children much more often than I do. Um, they they claim they're okay with it, and I think they are, but they don't really want to talk about it. Don't like to be reminded of it too much. Yeah. Uh, they understand it's a part of me. All right. Part of you, huh? Not only is this guy a creep, he's just dumb. If you're doing this type of thing, uh, you want to keep it on the QT. <laughs> you don't yeah. want to kind of... <clears throat> Tell everybody and hope they're gonna understand. You keep that a little. Uh, you keep that secret between you and your pony. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe that. Maybe they all do it. But the the animals he chose were the ones that were like unacceptable. Yeah. Like it's like oh, Arvart, you dirty <laughs> <Arvark>. mother. <laughs> Dad, can I go out? Ask your mother. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, dear. I've I've fallen in love with someone else. <laughs> no, I I do. Here she is. <laughs> no, I know the kids are upset. <laughs> <laughs> I listen. Let's try to squeeze this in. Uh, a sexologist explains this whole thing. Zoophilia. Zoophilia is one of the forty odd paraphilias. And para means beyond the usual, and philia means love. These conditions used to be called the perversions, and on the street they're called kinky sex. Zoophilia is, according to the dictionary, is really love for animals. But usually people, when they talk about zoophilia, they talk about people who are in love or have an emotional connection with their animals, and they also have sex with their animals. <clears throat> that is just something, uh, I don't get it. Yeah. So feeling. It's so far out there. And, and if it was black people, the thing would be like, oh, these crazy. That, that F in the giraffe. <laughs> 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 it, 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 it's it, it, this amazing. She said, "It's zoophilia." Yeah. You're making up words to justify. To that. justify how to creepy. Justify it. It. Yeah. And now a story that may disturb you: S people having sex with animals on the streets. They on the streets. We they still connected to black people in the <laughs> hood. They call it kinky sex. All we right. call it zoophilia. <laughs> zoophilia. Really quick, because we got to squeeze this in. The rumors yeah. that the townspeople hear about them in the small midwestern town where Mark lives. Rumor and gossip soon spread. Mm. I just heard that he's married to his horse and sleeps with his, his horse and uh, several animals or whatever. We were told that he had sex with his horse and with his donkey. What they do is their own business. Is that Bill Clinton? That's the way I look at it. Because huh? hey. I've, I've done bad things before in my life, too, but no, you know, I've, I've done just about like President Clinton. <laughs> oh, Jesus.
Well, that was kind of funny. Kind of sounded like him. Right. I said, but just about like President Clinton, only with a, a donkey. <laughs> we should have started this on Monday. I did not have sex <laughs> with that pig ever. <laughs> uh, did not have sex with that dolphin. <laughs> well, okay. I did have an inappropriate relationship uh, with the dolphin. I'm doing a uh, black fool. Can I say that? Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow, I'm doing black Philip tomorrow, 9, 9 p.m. to 12 midnight on uh, XM202. Very, very cool. Uh, d- uh, really quick, this wraps this part uh, to up. Uh, we have more parts to go. Mark and Tom spend hours each day on the internet, talking to other zoophiles around the world. <laughs> Everyone here first got in touch with Mark through the net. The internet, I think, has been a major importance in the, in the forming of, of anything that could be described as a zoo community. Before that, community. contact with other zoos was, was uh, extremely difficult. Your best friend could be bopping the beef on the side, and you'd never know he was a zoo unless he told you. Jeez, that's a great line. That's a great line. Ah, we blew it. Zoos. We should have started this when we had more time, unfortunately, but... Uh, they call them zoos, huh? Yeah. Other zoos. All right, okay. anyway. We didn't do that justice, let's uh, be honest, but we got more clips, and we'll get into it next week. I want to play it again. We just ran out of time. Animal Move. fuckers. We went into now that we could call them what they are, animal fuckers. And Louis C.K. will have a nice take on this as well. Yeah, we uh, discovered this documentary on uh, people that love sex with uh, animals. Yeah. Not only are they having sex with the animals, Louis, they uh, That's have That's creepy an, enough. They have an mm-hmm. emotional attachment. Yeah. One guy actually had a ceremony to marry his pony. Really? Yeah. Now you know and we, and we, why would you marry... I mean, like, talk about how close, how much closer can you get to the metaphor, like, why buy the cow if you're getting the <laughs> for free? It's like, why marry the pony yeah. if you can just walk up and fuck it? Uh, you can just fuck it. <laughs> Jesus Anytime Christ. you want. That uh, is retarded. We, want, we can back up a little bit here, Ed, because they're short clips. You know, we don't want to start from the beginning, or do we? Um, I, I don't think so. You want to start with to. Although the guy talking about how he's emotionally involved with it was kind of really creepy. I felt like we didn't do anything with it. So why don't we start from yeah. the beginning? And if we got nothing, we'll just move on to the next clip. Yeah. All right? Because, right. I mean, the band's warming up. The people are coming up. And, you know, Louis hasn't heard this. Yeah. And uh, I just felt like uh, we needed to slow down and then and enjoy some of these clips a little more. Yeah, we had to run out of there, so. We really did run out of there. I don't think there's anything basically wrong with fucking animals. No? No. Like, basically wrong? No. I mean, I don't, it's not cool. I don't no, think it's like it's a, not something you tell your friends. But no, no. One's, no one really gets hurt. No, I, I by think doing it. Like raping a pony is not that's not okay. I, I kind of. How not is okay. it not rape all the time? Well, I guess it probably is. There's I don't probably, think there's any animals I, looking at people going, "Ooh, I wish he'd come over here." It's either me. rape, or, it's either rape all the time or not rape any time. I'll tell you because what, I don't think the animal cares. I'll, yeah. I'll, no, I'll really tell you not. why it's not rape. Not a what? tear is shed. Yeah, During animals the process, can't cry. animals don't have True. tears. Yeah. Uh, so that means they're, you know, whatever. Them, do whatever yeah. you want with it. However, them. they do look sad. And I, I think, think it does I think most hurt people, like the chicken. Well, like a ch- uh, chimp, I think people, most people would fuck a chimp if they didn't have other people judging them. <laughs> well, because <laughs> thank God Louis said that. Because these dopes not yeah. only are fucking the animals, they're, yeah. t- they're hoping that people around them are going to understand. So they share this info with their uh, mm-hmm. children and the neighborhood. Oh, they go on the and, internet. And See, that's the opposite. See, I think if I was alone on the earth for like four minutes I would fuck a chimp. Just four be, minutes. Maybe that's not <laughs> long. <laughs> that's not long enough even to know you're alone on Earth. Is <laughs> no, that's not. Wait, 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 wait. You don't even know. <laughs> I come outside and it's quiet. I'm gonna fuck a chimp right now. <laughs> All right, I got. All of a sudden you hear, "Hey, yeah. anyone oh, else uh, around? <laughs> if I hear echo three times, there's a pigeon wait, wait. <laughs> gonna suck my dick." If anyone else hello, is around, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> if anyone else is around except old chimp fucker over here, <laughs> I'd like to talk to you. I, I got a problem though with him yeah. picking a chimp. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Like, let's just say you, you were going to fuck an animal. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. You had to, or they they take you off this earth. <laughs> I like these, which you have would, to do things. No, but which animal would you choose? I don't think, think I would go with a chimp right off the bat. Because, because it's too much, too much like, like a person. Too much like a but, person. But not enough like a person. Right, yeah. it's just too, too much, close. It's like, yeah. you know what, fuck something that's an uh, animal. Let me think, though, because you don't want something... Like, a horse is out of the question. Well, that's, that's a lot of work. That's just a big fucking whole area yeah. of the asshole and right. just all muscle and... Snack, yeah. yeah. Have I, tail to get out of the way. Something tailless, I think. I well, hear, the, I hear well, sheep, sheep is the way to go. vaginas are very close to our vaginas. Yeah? To our vaginas. It's so hack, How about though. Sheep? How about sheep dick? It's hack. It's, it's it hack was... animal fucking, though, If sheep. you were fucking a sheep, you'd be like, oh, brother, here yeah, I go. Yeah, I'm fucking a sheep. Take a picture and put it on a postcard. A panda. 
A panda? It just looks they're cute, cute cuddly. They're, they're not uh, uh, primates. They're in the bear family. They're actually That's not bears. That's interesting. Okay. Pandas are marsupials. Aren't they in the bear family? I Aren't they in the ursus? Well, they look no, like bears. They're but marsupials. They, I would, are they? Yeah. They have a pouch. I would have to Which go with the They're like kangaroos. Get the fuck out yeah. of town. Yeah. No, I, I mean, would, literally. Just <laughs> leave. I'm I just the outskirts, just yeah, like just, Jersey. I just go over the bridge. I would have to go right over the state line. I would have to go with an animal that looks like it's bending over. <laughs> like what? Like any four-legged well, animal? It's like a horse can't really bend over. No, and there's no. something, something about something, seeing something bent over. Something yeah. shaped like a tyrannosaurus. <laughs> something with hands. Something with little hands, and it has to it has to bend all the way down. Some of these hands. animals never look like they're bending over. They're always on all fours. It can't I need be something hooked. that. See, I, uh, well, see, a, the only hoofed animals I would fuck would be a sheep, uh, not a sheep, a uh, um, a deer. Yeah. Because a there would deer. be a purpose, because I hate deer. In my area, deer, are like, in upstate New York where we live, they're like a All fucking vermin. Place. Yeah. And they're assholes, too. They make it, they go, ah, they make a noise. They're not, like, quiet little... Deer, no. They are. They're noise. awful. So you're talking about pulling a deer's I'm hair. talking about, like, <laughs> I would like to blow... Like, really, I'm going to fuck you. You want to hold the antlers. I'm talking going, about, man. I want to, like, blow a guy that has AIDS so I can get it and then fuck a deer and kill it. <laughs> deer AIDS can give it my AIDS. And you want it to die slowly. <laughs> so yeah. It, right. So it can tell all the other deer you fucked? No, so it can fuck the other deer, too. <laughs> you have oh, to let's play these clips again and do it justice. Yeah. Here's That's the first clip for uh, Louis C.K. We're doing this for you, Louis. I love it. Maybe for the people tuning in late. In a trailer home in the backwoods of Missouri, of live four zoophiles. They are united by their love of animals, a love which is both emotional and physical. Zophilia is love of animals. I love my animal dearly. Um, sex is an option. Um, Ass. You know, I don't have to have it all the time. Oh. It's something I enjoy very much. It's something I would miss if it were gone. Mm. But it's, it's not its not a necessity. It's not just about sex. No. Mm -mm. No. no I, I love my pony. He's so defensive. Yeah, he He's is. so softly defensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's, it's like, not about... Because oh, how right. dare you fuck think it's just dog. about fucking? Yeah. You don't fuck all the time. I mean, it's there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm part of I the do. relationship. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not... You know, but it's about you know. It's incidental that I fuck my dog. Relationship. <laughs> so oh, sure it is. A part of the relationship. My dog. Yeah. Just, uh, just, well, this is well, self-explanatory. Here's the next clip. I've got a male female dog, and I've got my female donkey, mm. and. With my dogs, um, I'm as close with my with my two dogs as I am with my girlfriend. Uh, Boy, she must wow. be happy to hear yeah. that. Huh? She's beaming with pride. Wow! Right. Holy shit! Wow! Uh, well, she's sucking rabbit dick too. Like, you know, she yeah, said the same thing in, in her interview. Like, yeah, you know, she's you know. not like upset with any of this. Like, if you seen a horse dick, you I would look at my girl. Uh, my girl wanted to fuck a horse. I would go. I don't blame you. <laughs> it really is unfair. It really is unfair to the dogs because the dogs are like, okay, we're, our whole species is fucked. It's like Planet of the Apes times a thousand. We're just fucking <laughs> assholes of the world. We got to like live in your house and ask to out to shit on the ground and shit and yeah. eat pebbles, like Planet brown pebbles. I never thought you know. I never but then, then the, these dogs are like, this guy's going to fuck us? Yeah. Yeah. And they're together, too. They're, they're do two dogs. Yeah, so they and can talk to each other. At night, they're in the other. kitchen going, he fucks us. <laughs> <laughs> what other dog has to fucking put up with this shit? And they must be talking about killing him. They must be talking about Somehow. Like, oh, if morning. I had a thumb, I'd choke the motherfucker. <laughs> the dogs talk to each other. Dude, claw is worthless. The female dog goes, at least I'm not gay. <laughs> yeah, at least I'm not a faggot, you yeah. faggot. <laughs> Fucking homo. <laughs> dicked in the dog ass. Friend. Oh, man. Uh, I wouldn't. I, I'd be just as uh, upset to lose either of those as I, w as I would be to lose my girlfriend. Yeah, oh, well. wow. Mark, who owns the trailer, lives with Pixel. The trailer. <laughs> he is partially blind. Pixel, look at here. He's got his dick in his yeah. hand. Come on, boy. The two got married in an unofficial ceremony five years ago. Many. I love Pixel. She's gorgeous. My God, that's a beautiful little pony. She's sweet. She's loving. I'm very proud of her. And... I like to be able to tell people how wonderful she is. Um, okay. You're, you're <laughs> fucking. Fucking like half blind guy in a trailer <laughs> fucking a pony. And British TV had to go there and. Yes, and give it like, like this. They had to do a piece on him. 
the way he's talking oh, to. God. We'd like to introduce you now with a zoo <laughs> know, It's like he's God. talking about fucking like Margaret well, you know, Thatcher. There's yeah. Some fucking pitch meeting in their newsroom. Uh, I, I, I know a fella in a trailer. He's half blind and he fucks his pony. Get All right, camera crew. Fuck it, send Nigel. <laughs> Just go with it. Send, yeah. send Nigel. Nigel. Fucking go ahead. I was working on a Winston Churchill biography, <laughs> but now I'm doing this thing on a donkey fucker. <laughs> You know he's just upset that they sent him there because his delivery is it because this would but be one of these like to do the sweet yeah. BBC and <clears throat> he's like yeah, yeah uh, fucking um, disgusting all right go ahead all let's right, roll voiceover <laughs> all right are we ready roll the clip here he is having <laughs> sexual relations with two of his dogs <laughs> fuck here's uh, the price you pay for the lifestyle uh, I've paid a price for this lifestyle mm. I've had to face up to some friends who just couldn't handle it and okay. say okay well you know I'd mm. hate to lose you as a friend but Faggots. I understand <laughs> I guess. can't handle it what friends can't handle that hate to lose these friends <laughs> yeah some friends <laughs> some a friend friends. can't stick by you while you're fucking your dogs no. they ain't friends and he's not some a true friends. friend Road Rocket from Jersey notice they say unofficial ceremony like he went to the courthouse and got a marriage license. Got an official, yeah. 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 You have to say an unofficial ceremony. Unofficial <laughs> ceremony. In an unofficial ceremony. Yeah. Oh, really? I thought this was legal. Yeah. Do you, Cliff, take this poodle to be yeah. a lover? Yeah. In a wedding only rivaled by Charles oh and Diana. God. See, I want to see the, <laughs> with the horses. The... Does anybody object to this? And you hear one in the back. <laughs> if anyone objects to this wedding, please speak now or forever hold their peace. Oh, the dolphin in the back. <laughs> God damn it. I wish I wish I could have seen the cusp though when he was losing his friends, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> like when he went to <laughs> right his old that. bar to play darts and then like, hey, uh, not for nothing, but maybe you don't come around no more, all right? <laughs> yeah, we kind of we, we were talking, we were talking, and, uh, and um, we really like it if maybe you didn't come down. Yeah, but you pro you know they probably like were friends for like ten years and he was feeling good. Yes. Like you know what? It's about time they know everything about me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Oh, one night when like one guy starts talking about how maybe when he was younger he's the guy that. Yeah. Drove his car through someone's garage. Uh -huh. What's the Hey, you know something? I, fuck my I got pony. a story. <laughs> I fuck my pony every day. Is it Jimmy's bit where you're hanging out with your friends and one friend always just admits something that he should never admit? A little too far, yeah. You've had a few beers and all of a sudden you're like, you're feeling good. Yeah, you're, you're doing confession night and uh, yeah, you yeah. go a little too far and talk about fucking your pony. I fuck my aunt uh, this morning. <laughs> hey, Wes uh, from Houston. What? What? I was looking at you. What? <laughs> We're going hacky here. Uh, right. Wes in Houston, this guy doesn't mind being in the doghouse. Yes. Aye. Aye. Uh, here you go. This guy's losing his friends. I've paid a price for this lifestyle. Yeah. I've had to face up to some friends who just couldn't handle it and say, okay, well, you know, I'd yeah. hate to lose you as a friend, but yeah. I understand. I'm sure that uh, I see my children much more often than I do. Um, oh, my God. He's got kids. Oh. They they claim they're okay with it, and I think they are, but they don't really want to talk about it. They don't don't like to be reminded of it too much. Too much? Uh, too they much. understand it's a part of me. No, they mind a lot. Mm -hmm. Don't want to but be reminded ashamed. of it. You know, Your too kids much. are really nice. By nice too much, kids. I mean ever, ever, ever. Yeah, Dad. Uh, it's fine. No, go ahead. Yeah. You fuck, Listen, fuck the pony. Not like, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and fuck your pony, Fine. Dad. It's not like but, you were there for me. When you know why? He, he must have had a up. horrible wife. He must oh, have had man. a horrible wife. Like, Oof. look after what mom did to him. He's got that pony to fuck. <laughs> Leave him alone. Yeah, at least he's got his something. His kids don't hate him. His mo his wife must have been a horrible <laughs> cunt that left him so wrecked that he's fucking a pony. That's what this story is. Yeah. yeah. This guy had a wife and kids. And she was so awful that he went, moved to a trailer and fucked the pony. What could she possibly do that drove him to <laughs> hey, fuck man. animals? Hey, man, you were married. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember? Okay. All right. All right. If you'd stuck around another three years. You know something? I'm thinking. Would you have head down That was really bad. And yeah. it never even entered my mind to fuck an animal. <laughs> so this guy, like, how bad must it have been? Yeah. Wow. But the, uh, emotionally, you can think about, like, if, a, if you're sitting there and you're going through that type of shit with your wife, mm -hmm. yeah. that the dog is always that loyal animal that, friend, that is loyal just friend. there. Mm -hmm. and, he, and the dog no might be like, what. look, you need some pussy, nigga. <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, you know, it, it, because I'll dogs help, are just, yeah. they, you can see, that's what's but you didn't have dogs. a dog. Right. Dogs are just that's what's that, that kind of thing where he almost, he probably hated his wife, lost his mind, wanted some pussy. <laughs> 
No, like I remember seeing oh, George dog. Bush. <laughs> I remember seeing George Bush coming off of a helicopter and he was embattled. It was a bad time, and his dogs run up. Yeah, start licking them. They don't give a, a shit. Little scratch. They don't give a shit about Iraq. They, they don't. Yeah, they don't they look don't at him and go, care. "Oh, fucking you Bush stole the election, you motherfucker." They don't <laughs> care. They're, old dogs. They're always there for you, no matter what. But here. what do you think the fight is? At what point where you start having that intrusive thought, like a dog's licking you in your face, and then one day you stick your tongue out? Oh fuck! As oh, that dog is, God, but is that the first and you get a rod. That, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. It, it has to be because it's so fucked up. You can't just full in. Go! I'm a nah. fuck a goddamn yeah, dog. No, nah, nah. It's a, it's a, it's a progression. Oh, it's a pro- progression. It has to be a progression. Got, you go no, it's got in. nothing to do you with go the all dog. In. It's an intrusive yeah. thought. It's an intrusive thought. Yeah, but that it has nothing think to do about. with the dog. It's the, nah, look at this guy's life. It's not like they're going. This man was CEO, <laughs> right? Of, you know, <laughs> yes, of, of Xerox. He of, had yes. a speedboat. He's, He's living in a trailer. I think you go all in. I don't think this is a slow process. Yeah. No, oh, no of a way. large It's just like the switch term. goes off and you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna fuck this today. If, if, yeah. if being gay, if being gay on. is um is one of those things, you talk to a gay guy, they yeah. all fought. Mm. Like they all fought. The f- they go, well, I always knew when I was 10. But they fought it till they was 22. They <laughs> no, didn't say, is... fuck it, I'm fucking dudes. They tried to this isn't not the sexual... fuck a dude. Yeah, but this isn't a sexual preference. This is fucking mental disease. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think there's a, C- yeah, right? you don't think there's a CEO fucking that's a fucking a dog? Fucking a dog? I would say yes. I would say they're probably well, we any situation you over the years. I would say that usually the, the the crazy ones that are doing the wild sex stuff are the ones that have a lot of power. Yeah, yeah. they just paid a dollar. I'll tell you that I, money. I, I, I bet I would bet any amount of money that Lyndon Johnson fucked some kind of an animal. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he fucked he was, some kind of an he animal. He was nuts Seriously. by the end of his LBJ life. Too. He was really yeah. fucked up. Yeah. Fucking an animal. They was doing it in the '60s. That's when you found all those dogs and cats, you know, laying in the bed with pills and suicide notes and. <laughs> <laughs> I heard an interview with the guy who was the plumber for the White House for years, and they asked him about Lyndon Johnson. He had a, uh, this stuff installed in his shower so that he had something like 200 psi of pressure, like cool. crazy amounts of pressure. <laughs> the Nixon's first act as president or whoever took over for him was to get this shit out of. Get the fucking that fucking shower <laughs> out of here! Took my head LBJ off. shower's gonna kill me. Exactly. That, that sounds kind of deep though. Fucking shower that hard though. Yeah, I know it would be. Pat, <laughs> it hit me right in the left that, ball. That's Pat. not attractive to you, man. A shower no, coming out that hard. Nothing worse. Than getting hit in the nutsack with a hard spray of shower water. <laughs> you ever washing your hair and one little stream hit your ball sack, Pat, and it's over. Hey, uh, is the FBI going to come uh, yeah, over right. and shut us down? I'm looking at a website. I don't even know if it's legal. What do we do? Someone gave us a, a web address. and We I don't, don't run the fucking thing. Well, look at this thing. You tell me if this is something. Say about that... kids sites, though. <laughs> hey, I don't yeah. run it. Huh? Yeah. What are you the cuffs? Nah, it's not anything to do with kids. But look at that. Is this legal com. stuff? I don't know. Oh, I don't even know close. what you're talking about. Oh Christ, that's awful. Wait a minute. I don't even know don't what's even going on in that URL. picture. Well, I don't even know what's going on in the picture. Well, do those get any bigger? The pictures, I mean. This is a... not the horse. It's big enough. There's Click a dog eating one. someone's <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Oh, is this legal? Is that a dog or a goat? What is that? That's a dog. And is that a girl? What's the rule, Steve? Is this legal? Uh, I don't know. It wouldn't be up on Foundry. (laughs) I wouldn't find it there. Hey, the studio audience has come to life. All right. Uh, I think, I think, as long as this stuff is posted on an internationally based server, you're okay. Yeah, just like, you know, uh, Thailand. I I thought they shut this type of thing down. I think I think you can't post anything like this in uh, in the U.S. But you know you might be looking at something that's in Belgium. She's got a nice ass. I was yeah, I, I thought well. we'd see and some like, kind of sloppy ass. You don't ass think there. there's a guy that isn't it? Is because she had given two or three motherfuckers a chance to fuck her before she got to fucking. Snoopy? Yeah, there's some yeah, well. horny guy that's like, look at this. This what girl are you getting is... from dog that you're not getting from that's a human being? That's what I'm being. saying. There's a guy who gets all right, no all right. pussy somewhere. I, I have something to say. Yeah. When I was 11, oh, <laughs> yeah. this is not going to be about a book reporter. I, I, you hit home run. You hit your first home run in Little League. That's right. It's not it's changing that's the subject. This is going. You got to sit on You won your right. first trophy. Oh, God, please make it something hey. normal. Spit it out. And you know he's a Puerto Rican, so you know it's some yeah. goddamn Spanish animal. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say it. Little... I put cream cheese on my dick, and I let my dog lick it off. Mm-mm-mm. 
Mm. I'm picturing a very young Louis C.K. And the reason I blurted out is I could answer the question, why a dog instead of... Because it's, an, it's Cause anonymity. It's not going to say anything. Yes. It's a warm time. I also showed my dick to a retarded girl down the street. <laughs> Wait a minute. Probably within the same, within the same month or even week. The Wait fucking a cream cheese probably would have worked on her. So, <laughs> 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 why, why would you... Why, like, why would you... Like, so if a girl would suck cream cheese off your dick, that's what you would worry about. About her doing is talking. Yeah. Yes, she wouldn't yeah. say shit. She sucked cream yeah. cheese off your dick. <laughs> yeah. I was 11. I didn't have any moves to get women to suck my dick. You'll do yeah. some crazy things. I was when fucking those desperate. Kick in. I was yeah. so desperate. Yeah. You and just had a. I looked at my dog. I was home alone. I was like, fuck oh, it. I'm doing, know, this. What, what, I'm doing this. Wait, 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 wait. Take oh, us yeah. through this. <laughs> I oh, went, you, Mom and dad what? are gone. Mom and dad are out. Yeah. I, I was obsessed with my dick when I was a kid, when I was 10, 11. That's yeah. all I could. I wasn't even coming yet. Like, I didn't know. I didn't. I had not come. It just felt good. I just Jeez. loved touching my dick. And I used to do all kinds of shit, rub it against all kinds of stuff and whatever. Mm, trees. I, and yeah. I, we had a microwave. I'd put, like, a, you know, chicken cutlet in the microwave and fuck it. Whatever. It doesn't matter. CK stands for cock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then Louis the cock. CK. So when I was... Uh, there was a day I was alone with my dog. I was home. I think I pretended to be sick so I could be home alone and f fuck my own, <laughs> fuck the whole house. And fuck your dog's mouth. And there was my dog, and I just had this idea. And I went and got some cream cheese, some Philadelphia cream were cheese. You, were you breathing all heavy while you were doing it? I don't remember yeah, that oh, well. This is going to be good. It's almost going to be like a blowjob. Uh, no, it was awful. It was all awful. And I put <laughs> the cream cheese awful. on my dick and my dog. Kind of looked at me weird and oh. kind of sh shrugged if a dog can shrug. <laughs> Did you feel <laughs> guilty? Started. I felt terrible. And how about Did you feel I weird when terrible. like it was licking your parents' face? <laughs> what? Like, like <laughs> oh, later <laughs> on, you know, like like later on. I don't remember that. I don't give remember. mommy kisses and you're like, oh, no, <laughs> not today. That. I don't remember that. And later, did you feel like it might have bit you at some point? What? No, I didn't worry about that. Mm. Did you, oh, you didn't think about it? He was, he was a good dog. How? He was, how, a, boy, how, how he was a really good dog. Yeah. How dirty <laughs> did you feel after it was over? I felt. Dis I mean, it wasn't like I came on his face or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> He licked yeah, some, that would be the some cheese off my dick, and I gotta be honest, I think, I, if I remember correctly, the dog stopped and looked at me like, dude, I don't what like cream doing? cheese that much. And what you started reading the dog's mind, right? Like, yeah. oh, he, this dog thinks I'm a sick fuck. Exactly. But I, and I, I stopped. It only lasted a few seconds. But every time I'd, my dog walked in a room after that, I'd feel fucking uh, weird. And that's how it starts. Yeah. So yeah. you had to kill the Same. dog, right? Right. It I starts there. Dog, yeah. And once you go through, I remember, like the first time I was jerked off in like one of those booths in New, in New York City, oh, how yeah. bad I felt. Like I'm yeah. like, I'm one of these pieces of garbage that I think is a creep. And after you do that, he thought the dog sucking his dick. He's like, oh, he got past that. <laughs> And now you move past. Now you go to the other thing. So now so, you you yeah. maybe uh -huh. if you could have continued on that line, it would have yeah. been easier probably to fuck like a sheep or oh, sure. or something else. Yeah. I yeah. could see going that way. Yeah. yeah. But I definitely <laughs> I definitely going. stopped and turned around and came back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm amongst you all. You were at the crossroad. You were at the crossroad there, and you, you made the right. I can stop and you made the right that. decision. You needed this storyline for Lucky Louie. I mean, yeah, I know. I should have had it. I, we would have gotten to it eventually. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. A sexologist. I'm sure you would have. Here's a sexologist yes. explaining a uh, sex with anim animals. Yes. Zoophilia. Zoophilia is one of the forty odd paraphilias. And para means beyond the usual. And philia means love. These conditions used to be called the perversions. I used to be and on the street they're called kinky yeah. sex. Yeah. On the street. So on Seventh Avenue they is, call it perversion. According to the dictionary, is really love for animals. But usually people, when they talk about zoophilia, they talk about people who are in love or have an emotional connection with their animals, and they also have sex with their animals. Yeah. yeah. I like that music in the background. Like, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. You know, they We're went to the music to library from. like, yeah. ah. What matches? Uh, <laughs> I need a good <laughs> song. <laughs> bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, <laughs> uh, the beauty is <laughs> old McDonald <laughs> had a the Beauty is they just picked a track that they never used before. Like, I'll mm. try this under this yeah. crap. Yeah, <laughs> make sure we use a song that's never going to be used again for anything else. Mm -hmm. Here's uh, the rumors that the townspeople hear about the about the uh, about these people. Mm. In the small midwestern town where Mark lives. Rumor and gossip soon spread. 
I just heard that he's married to his horse and sleeps with his, his horse and uh, several animals or whatever. We were told that he had sex with his horse and with his donkey. What they do is their own business. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. Because I've, I've done bad things before in my life, too. But, you know, I've, I've done just about like President Clinton. <laughs> Well, that's not, oh. What's bad about that? Yeah, there's, a, there's a big drop off. Who there. am I to, yeah, to uh, judge a horse fucker when I yeah. once let a young girl blow me? Right. Actually, he said he just about uh, you know, did some bad things, and then he goes, "I've done done." Maybe he did President Clinton. <laughs> like that's what he yeah. kind of sounded like he fucked President. Maybe Clinton. Maybe admitted. No, yeah, no one bought into like <laughs> fuck. I admitted to the world. Fucked yep. uh, President Clinton. But they didn't buy it. it it's true. He had no problem with it, though. Hey, it's his business. Mm. And, and this okay. clip right. that we just r played and rushed out of uh, the first joint today, mm. unfortunately, and there was a really funny, funny line in there as we were packing up. Mark and Tom spend hours each day on the Internet, Oz. talking to other zoophiles around the world. Just the truck stopped here a months. Everyone here first got in touch with Mark through the net. The Internet, I think, has been a major importance in the, in the forming of, of anything that could be described as a zoo community. Before that, contact with other zoos was was uh, extremely difficult. Your best friend could be boffing the beef on the side, and you'd never know he was a zoo unless he told you. Boffing a beef? Yeah. Like fucking a, a cow or something? Yeah. Yeah, what do they do? Like, the Internet has just opened it up. Like, yeah. in the old days, you pull out a the fucking quill and paper yeah. my dearest chicken fucker <laughs> i would like you to know i too enjoy fucking chickens you know what? like and then mail the envelope no, 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 no. or you just throw it in a bottle yeah, in the that's ocean damn, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> message yeah. in a bottle before the internet you just, just and you wrote this horrific chicken? shit hoping for uh, people just like you and you had to throw it in the Isn't ocean amazing where it all nice just hope somehow you, you two could connect or i, I hope guess this maybe letter you finds you well my <laughs> horse fucking companion Companion. Or you could, I guess, you could put something in a in a personalized, you know, like in the back of a newspaper that's cryptic, you know. Yeah. Like, doesn't it? Does, doesn't the furry? Doesn't the furriness <laughs> feel nicer? I don't know. Some does some look, kind of, yeah, where somebody would know. Like, oh fuck, I know what this guy's talking <laughs> like about. On Craigslist. What? Like on Craigslist. Yeah. yeah. Craigslist. Well, we're talking. <laughs> Man looking for male or female hands not required. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hooves okay. You spell Clips. words that sound like yeah. like like animal sounds. Like oh. if you see like I, you could come, we could go moving and but you M O O V. We're going to move in with. Come on, no. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's say oh, we lost him. Guy really. Pit Are you still there? No. Right. What happened? He wants these people dragged behind trucks. He's very very pissed off. Oh. Yeah, that's some twisted shit. I that had a goddamn dog that was raped by a motherfucker. That was like yeah. Yeah, yeah, when you get mad, he when you get mad. <laughs> the only people that are angry are people that want to do it so badly, yeah, exactly. haven't, and are pissed off that people are doing it. And being open and, about and it. And being open about it, and yeah. he's got to sit there just wanting to fuck his dog. Mm -hmm. All right. There's nothing worse. The only thing worse yeah. than fucking your dog is wanting to and not being able to. That's the, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be a pain that we will never know.